Yeah, both coming in from the same angle. Uh, the Sage will also giving a, a little hidey hole as well. This crossfire is as deadly as it gets. There is little to no hope for Dawn to try and get out of the corner. And, well, even the upgrade of a pistol is going to give his spot away. Patatek will be the one to at least take a bullet to the... I'm seeing a lot of people in chat talk about Aves. I, I, I sort of highlighted him based off like him being within this team and playing previously with that roster. Alarante, though, styling. It, it, he's, he's doing quite Not a lot bad, of damage. Yeah. Of course, this is an eco round, but I, I don't want to get too excited, but that was pretty sick. Because <laughs> when it comes to your bonus round, you've got a rocket launcher. <laughs> it helps a lot, but he'd need to have it on by the end of this. In this series, I expect he'll have a pretty tough challenge, certainly going on to the NIP one if they do win. That's all for the future. For now, it's oh. Aiden completely destroying them as they walk on out. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get insta dove. It's a one like, shot. Oh, no, it was just this round. I'll try it again. Aves, though, wow. hot flank coming in from the jet. This pretty much pinces Heretics into a corner. No real chance. He's taking a second as well, and it leaves just Alarante. But in this series, they're in a lot of trouble up against Breath. That's a team just looking at that lineup that can definitely compete with them and hyper oh my what? that pretty much shows off what i'm talking about they've got the skills to pay the bills as hyper's looking for the ace right down mid he goes final player hiding inside a window and now he has the info but don he stole it away he took the ace tom what a dick it's not the biggest loss in the world. Sure, it's a, a player down, I suppose. A life lost. <gasps> they think their flank but is clear. Now, at least. Oh, no! The flank coming through from Aves! He's going to get two One easy kills. And while well, they're trying to find the last man of Patatech, rifle in hand, we'll see what he can do. A single kill for now, and that's all he'll get. These rounds are really clean from Breath. Realistically, Heretics are the one with all the pressure on their shoulders. Nice shot from Alarant. He's going to get himself one. Fatty in the corner, but there's no way you expect one. That's such a weird angle to be playing uh, with an Odin. But hey, he'll take it. He gets one, but... They were ready for that corner, though, on some level. Even though you... Oh, oh my God. Again? Come on, man. It's against a full buy. It's only monster left alone. And despite a very nice early play, it's... <laughs> The team aspect down no. necessarily. Don't do it to no. him again. Oh, come he on! Can't! Another flash around, and he'll be dealt with at long last. But a 4K, a 3K, and a 2. Maybe next round, he only gets the one. Aiden knows Patatex at the back side, but can't deal with him. After a quick teleport across, it's a plant down and a man advantage for Heretics. Caster cursed them once again. Aves has popped his blade storm. He's going to dash through, try and get himself a better angle. He knows there's a player in the corner here, but gets tagged desperately low. Fatty. Hunter's Fury getting expended, but they haven't actually cleared the back corner. And also, there's the OP expended! Oh what is this guy made of? Oh my god! Up in that smoke, Lal gets taken oh down man. by the hot hands. <laughs> All right. Fair enough, but here's Raze making a play. Surely this is his moment to shine. Alorant in for a double, and now it's a 2v2. Completely winnable on this site. Showstopper used up for him, so he doesn't really have to move anywhere. Information should be garnered in just a second, and he will land the instant headshot. It's close once again, but Heretics, they're still grinding out some rounds. And Aiden's position will be revealed. I don't think their finances are particularly bad, so he might be able to just try and do some damage here. But Paditek is ready and waiting. And Aves, well, we know he's capable when it comes to the local scene over in Egypt, but right now, things ain't looking too good. Yeah, Hyber's, Hyber on the defensive side was making great use of feeling out the empty space, like his whole team's information game was on point, but now on the attack, he doesn't quite have that same level of comfort, running straight into players at times, and Emil was the one to take him down, but the numbers evened up as Aves regains control of the spike. Where is he going with this one, though? They know they've cleared out B. I guess they're gambling the monsters alone on this site, but somehow he managed to evade detection and take down a double. The cage up. He's reloading, so Aves hears that and easily pushes him down, but the ace clutch requires two more kills, and that ain't going to be too easy. They're grouped up and playing this one together, Aves, oh! to bring it across the line for Heretics in. What I, think, can't ace. what I think is his third <laughs> kill of the game so far. The finance is looking good, and Amiwa's going to get completely crunched in. No chance for survival. It's left onto Monster lurking through his own cage. But again, Hyber is there to shut him out and leaves just one man standing. And as you mentioned, 
It's not been a walk in the park for Lao so far. Got to try and clear the first. Finds the kill, the peak out. They actually get stuck on each other. But it might have to be another hero play coming out from Hybrid. Oh. Started it well. He doesn't have many bullets left in the clear. <laughs> oh, no. He's screwed. He needs his teammates to look after him. By the looks of it, they did. Patty already finding one. But Monster is doing even more work with the classic. It comes down to just one man standing, though. And the spike's gone in the other direction. It's the bait and switch as the fallback from Hyber. He might even die to the fall damage. Paranoia going to be used up the drop. Oh, it didn't oh. catch Dawn. A kill plus tags onto a multitude of players. And Pat is still in the back lines, holding on, locking down this site. But the trades come back. Somehow, Breath have made this competitive. And again, guess who's at the front line? It is Hyber with another impactful double. So the potential to isolate duels is definitely in play. Hyber's the first and gets lit down to 30. But of course, he takes Monster down with a wall bang through a cage. Trying to clear out some of the close corners, but in fact, won't really give much information at all. And, well, Aves looking like he wants to try and pad those stats a little bit. It's going to be a flawless cleanup. Four players alive again for Breath, which I guess the positions, this aggression is risky, but they do end up trading. I clear out one of the remaining players, but the fact is the push looks to go in the other direction. The res even coming through to bring Panitech back from the dead. A monster looks to go big, but actually only ends up with one, even still. Uh, but to move towards this C site or run straight up middle, which is basically suicide. So is stepping oh, into the dear. nade or a wall bang. The wild spray, though, actually manages to yep, catch yep. the first tripwire. Dash into sight. They're going to play this one together. Aves finding the kill on a monster. Now they move to back site where Hyper shows off that spray control. Damage done to Alarant, but at the end of the day, it... that's pretty damn good for Heretic so far. If they can convert this round, this would be a huge win. Quick trade from Hyper once again. Lightning fast reactions. Bring them back into a two versus two. Al drone. But Fatty actually going to get close alongside him. Both players will get scanned, however. They know where he is, but it doesn't matter. He's managed to escape around the corner, jumps back, and still survives a little longer. Oh. But he can't quite kill off Abilwa. An incredibly nice try from Hyba. But it was that scan initially from Abilwa in the first place that gave the game away. Otherwise, that setup. Oh. Do they line up? They do. Perfect. Oh, because the patience is there from Heretics. I don't feel the need to rotate. They've got the Karam watching C. Patatek still hadn't been spotted in the corner. Double digits for both teams and Heretics. And then it just comes down to trying to take it all the way across the line. Luckily, no showstopper to play against. And Heretics have split up too. They're coming in one from each angle. It becomes much more difficult. That timing is so good. And it's a 1v1 all of a sudden. Not spotting a teammate. He even suspects the flank, Tom. He's ready for this. Now getting cautious of long. And as he swings out, the info is confirmed. Quick on the swing. He's a god. To bring He's a fourth his way. As they look to push into this A site. Ain't going too well. Yeah, it's looking Spike much better from Heretics A. again. The break back is huge and the economy is not going to be fantastic. Unless Fatty can now do something, it's going to be equalized again. But can they find anything from it? Aves knows that killing off Lau is going to be everything here. And Dawn already being dropped leaves him alone. Lau has played this one almost perfectly. The smoke goes down behind to try and block things off. Lau pushing through it. And Amiwa will be there to close the round. It's close once again for Breath. And the plant will definitely help them in terms of earning an extra little bit of finances for the next round. Still manages to get away with the kill, and that's even a res earn. That could be so valuable in the future of the rounds. This is looking all but done. Breath have fought valiantly, and they need a hero once again. Could it be Hyber? There's four players left to take down. He's evaded the ace four times so far. You doubt he's going to be in middle, surely? No! Oh, Monster clear. is clearing it right off the bat. Rez comes in, and Fatty's going to clutch it himself. With that Rez, it is going to have to be an ace, and it's not happening this time around. 13 to 11. An absolutely heartbreaking loss for Breath. They had the lead. They fought so hard for it, and Hyber, that man deserves a medal after this map. That's for damn sure. I mean... I'm sure the day will come. There, there have been a few, but yeah, I get what you mean. Like a superstar team. Yes. A couple of duels going down. Breath not really getting ahead in that one. Short end of the stick for sure with monsters still lurking around mid. 
as somebody gives him a peek. Maybe earns an ultimate orb at least. Lau is going to be waiting on the corner and not really giving anything away. Oh, my, the crossfire in the end is too much for Breath to find anything. So again, it's going to be Heretics kicking things off with an early start. Talking mad smack to you around the corners. I see you there. When I bounce back off this wall, I'm coming back. Don't worry. No, when, when I hit this wall, I'm going to get you. Oh, I was bypassed the turret, but got a little bit too focused on it. Staring down, only the classic for Fatty. This is, should be a nice, easy round. Corner, of course, a kill there would have enabled the dismiss. And Alaran, he's actually going to catch him as he goes pushing through. Still, though, Hyper actually got one there. Yeah, not getting away with nothing in hand. That's the that's the benefit of having Hyper on your team. Oh, monster. Not checking the right angle. Only one left alive. It's a Milwa. And now the advantage goes comfortably to Breath. Are comfortably the heretics, not Brad. They're they're not comfortable. Oh no! Oh, that's a whiff and a half. Luckily, I think Fatty's gonna find that kill anyway. But they've still got a pretty tough task. The attack is even gonna be putting down a lockdown just to make it even worse for them. It's also allowed for a reposition, but I don't think that reposition actually helps them too much. They're very reliant on Patatek to do the work here, and he's going to get traded out. Now, this flank is slowly coming in, and I don't think there's even enough time for this defusal anyway, so it won't matter, but... Oh, Aves. Oh, no. The classic is behind them, and they've just walked through, but he has an idea. He's suspicious, and the Does one kill goes his way because <laughs> Aiden is dominating them on the Sheriff. Looking for a third kill. It's not going to be found. Oh, and now everyone's facing careful. Amilwa. Only has three more players to take down. And he was making short work of it, but... And the res onto Avez pulls it back. They're going to try to deal with that using the Hunter's Fury. Alarant falls. Iber onto another and healing up as we speak. Spraying away. Down to 46 HP actually. Heal cancelled and damage done. But he's still making oh it work, God. man. Oh, God. Three on the board in a situation where he's peeking into two or three players at a time. That is just ridiculous. He takes the first shot, escapes out, and then goes back for a little bit more. It, it is just at the moment seeming like the Hyber show. Another 4K. Can he, can he finally do it, Mitch? Can he finally get himself an ace? It hasn't happened thus far. Hey! There we go. It is long deserved for Hyber to keep control of it. Aves has managed to sneak all the way past. I think they can see his feet. Yeah, I was wondering why he's staying there for so long. Hadatek just shredding them inside this ulti, using a Vandal inside his own ult as a Viper, by the way, which is kind of ludicrous. Dawn doesn't stand a damn chance. Well, Hadatek onto Hyber and another just opening this site every single time. Clutch having to be made. This was looking like Heretic's round. They Oh no! He shot off at the Viper wall. He thought it was ahead. <laughs> oh, that's so unlucky. Well, that's something... definitely not gone as well. <laughs> I... I can already see Jonas crying after seeing those shock darts go through. Big whiff, and it cost him so much time now. <laughs> they have to make up for it. They seem to be doing just that. Two kills on the board, moving up close. Aves catches Sage off guard. The shots are whiffed. That could cost seen. him. He's all alone now. The shot from Emilwa. He has the info on where both players are, I think. But it doesn't matter. Realistically, he's had so much time to leave that <laughs> why would he still be there? Well, he is. And the rest of the team are just going to clean things up easily. Six to six. Let's see if they can make this pistol work for them. Monster already in position, but it is going to be Emilwa to drop. He's still managing to hold on to control here. Two kills. Note that the spike's being planted. What? Monster gets away with murder. Three kills on the side. Oh, my God. He might just win this round all on his own. He's dropped on his opponent's head and gets the ace as well. What a round from Monster. A needed pistol from the side of Heretics, but it's this man that does all the work. As they push up close, clearing their angles, Monster has a ranged fight, but here's the swing. Aiden lurking, oh. ready to take them down and striking at just the right time, even going so far as to find the fourth with a marshal and a sheriff. And I think probably they'll be happy enough if they just find a couple of kills. And right away, Aiden is going to be dropped, but they can't make it too costly.
I'll try. I'm sorry, Tom. Well, look, it doesn't look like we missed all too much. Heretics haven't had a tank up close. And this side has been overrun. Alaran doing his best to pull this all the way back. But hey, he's the last one alive all of a sudden. One versus two to play out. Oh, that timing has completely played him. Nine to seven we go. Pushing around is not optimal because those knives are staring straight at him as he goes. And Hyber's taken down. Now that Killjoy ulti guarantees that they're all far back. And this is going to be stuck inside the smoke. Getting themselves more than halfway. Oh, no. Now it's almost it's done. done. And there you go. Heretics manage the ninja defuse. Could be the floor in their plan. They're now taking a lot of control. Oh, by the side of Alaran. The player behind gets pinged and he gets two kills for it. Oh, that is both fantastic in terms of the scam, but there is a lot of luck involved in that double kill. That was so good, man. With the exception of their wall, which won't help because heretics are all coming in oh. from heaven. But Aiden has shut them down. Only one now remains. And this is not going to be an easy one. The time is way too low for Lau. They can just jump up top. The first is taken down. The second soon to follow uh. Lau. He got away with it. But it looks like he might have to defuse it so close. Ooh. Oh, he what? shot it under a second like left. An instant defusal. The question is, is there another snake by actually available to them? It might not matter what? because different weapons are being picked what? up. I'm not sure if that's exactly what he meant to. Niwa is going to have to try and fight versus the whole squad and he'll at least find one a second as well. Nine bullets in the chamber and well, eventually he will fall, but not a bad attempt. Not bad at all. Making it so much easier for his teammates now with Aves tagged up. Just the one body shot was needed. In fact, Fatty only barely dodges the headshot that was coming his way. This is not going to be an easy clutch. If you can get caught a time or two, also going to get scanned up. They know he's not defusing at this point in time. The bait again, just trying to pull in players, but Fatty will land the headshot. One player actually did get detained there. A bit of a problem. Fatty already killing another one off with the shot dart from distance. And while well, the frags are just all going one way, it's left onto Almirwa. The time is ticking far too gone. And while well, it seems like the attackers, this is starting to become problematic. That's even a Hunter's Fury as well. That could be everything. That kill from Avers might have just saved the round. Turns it back into a winnable position. A three versus two, a res of their own being invested. And Aiden now trying to get up above to find something from behind. Patitek falls for the second time, but Amiwa still fighting in the 2v2. Take them down. That's exactly what he's going Ooh. to try. Lau managing to make it over behind the walls. It's already halfway. They have to peek it here and now. And he's just going oh. down, hunting them to extinction. That is the defuse and 12 to 11. Heretics are holding on. It didn't look likely. He is in a pretty tough spot. Maybe he's going to regroup up through middle. Unless his teammates clear it like this. Monster, nice double moving to site. He's up above. And they're worried about the flank, so they can't commit no. to the players to deal with this full frontal aggression. It's only one left alive, but it's Hyber. He's been so huge, so instrumental for breath. But this time, Lau will foil them yet again. We're going to overtime in this series. Heretics have fought hard. They look down and out of this map. Turret will give them away. The scan, a little bit more information garnered. They're going to deny the Nano Swarm, though. That could be a pretty big problem. Uh, that's not going to be there <gasps> to actually stop it anymore. And actually, the wall's gone up. I don't think there's anything they can do. It's just a straight up defusal. And even though the last couple of kills come in for Monster. No, just ignore it. Oh, no. Oh, no. That timing is some of the worst I've ever seen. Hyber's been wrecked on the site. Dawn tries to have a valiant last stand, but unfortunately. He can't get it done either. Oh. We're evened up in the 3v3. Looks like post-plant killjoy play. The turret will give them away. The scan, a little bit more information garnered. They're going to deny the Nano Swarm, though. That could be a pretty big problem. Uh, that's not going to be there <gasps> to actually stop it anymore. And actually, the wall's gone up. I don't think there's anything they can do. It's just a straight-up defusal. Going to need to do it once more, Aiden. Oh, he's hearing the rotate. He knows exactly what's going on. Emil was seen cautious of it, but the timing got the better of them. Patatek and Monster left to make this happen. The trade out at least. The player spotted peeking, but Aves wins it. Patatek has to 1v3, or we're going all the way. Map number three it is, Tom.
At least one player is going to be spotted, but they don't know the remaining two is still going to be at the back of the site. Quick push coming in. Not quite cleared. Aiden able to survive in the corner and even has extra utility to make sure that they can't shut him out in this current spot. He's just sitting here looking pretty. If they're going to expect this aggressive push to be in from Avers. Of course, Tom, they can't see his barrel as they come up, but they can see him as he swings on out. A dangerous game to play lurking corners up against pistols, but it doesn't seem to be one he's going to get punished for. With only monster remaining ghost in hand and five enemies to dispatch, it will be a flawless round for breath in the end. <laughs> that like this. The specter isn't quite strong enough to get through that wall. A kill by Hybro. We need much more before this is a, a good round for breath. The bonus, you really want to, we want to be walking out with two or three kills. And Don can't even get near the site at the moment. You could always hope that they hunt you down, but I think Heretics will have learned their lesson at this stage that this is not a team you want to mess with. <gasps> Don knows he's got some good timing, but Aloran swings at just the right moment, turns around to look at the angle. The position within hookah so that at least might actually work out for them because now they can try and surround these remaining players and with all of them in the tube the shock dart's actually going to do a lot of damage leaving it onto just a 2v2 scenario definitely workable for the remaining players we're going to see the orbital strike which will get one kill and now it's on to dawn a one versus one but the wraparound from pat is so perfect he has absolutely no idea of where the last player is it's a Popping him on the floor, you're guaranteed to just bait out the Hunter's Fury. Well, they're going to do it anyways. And there's the Hunter's Fury destroying it and now looking for an extra tag and getting it. Well, not getting it because the player died just at that second. Dawn mounting a huge comeback into this. I'm almost counting them out of it. But it looks like Breath are here to fight for it. Dawn getting all three to close it out and tie it up three to three. That was a retake I didn't see going Breath's way, Tom. I have to be honest. And I have to feel like Heretics maybe overpeaked in that in the individual fights or afterwards in fact looking for the kill flashed up now there's one okay that's a good start but dawn finishes him and four to three we go breath the after plants have not been particularly good well the one time i bring it up he's not gonna get the open up you cursed him again tom always <laughs> doing this lowell only has a pistol but now managing to recover a rifle had a much better chance if he times it right there it is, right under the showstopper. Ooh. It's going to get nothing. And Hyber, in fact, gets away with one completely lost. Still managing to stay alive and pretty much win this round out. Dawn all alone has no shot. You know, Aloran's guaranteed the side if he does showstopper. In his current position, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much guaranteeing he will. And there it is, coming out, gets the trade kill right off the bat. Exactly they do not know that Aiden is there, but they do know. Oh. They did now. <laughs> and Noah even gets the kill before the info comes through. Yeah, it might be one time that the neural theft is actually going to be incredibly important because that flank could have been everything. An ultimate that it gets harped on a bit. But at least for now, it's looking good for Heretics once again. Once more, breath off to a flying start and Heretics left to grind back into the half, but they're doing it once more. Hyber not going to check the close corner and it's all too easy. Lao, Patatek, Monster combine. Scoreline equalize once again and Heretics, they are... It doesn't look like they're ready for it though, Tom. It was a lot of rounds ago that he did this the first time and he's letting them both by. That's free as can be for Aves. An easy double and he's back into Hookah to hold that control. Seekers online, going to be activated. And that flash, it's going to cost him a lot of HP. The nade was perfectly on his feet. Well returned by Alorant leave the 1v3 into fatty's hands and well i'm not feeling it Tom. 30 seconds left none of them have their ulti online so uh, even if he gets a kill and gets traded that's a bad scenario for him now mills one step closer hunter's fury being popped off not landing a tag just yet it comes close but patatech evades it now the plant is coming in, covered by that Molotov, but he's being revealed, and they know exactly where the final player is. Emil went down in a matter of seconds to tie it up six to six. Breath have put up one hell of a fight here. In this series alone, 13-11, they lost 14 to 12. They won on Icebox, and now we move on. I don't know, what would we say? Mission objective for Breath, get two kills? That'd be over the moon with Maybe that. Maybe a plant. 
Yeah, plan would be nice. That's a great nade. <laughs> I think the cage is even better. <laughs> Just making it impossible for them to get anywhere near. And well, the last man is being hunted. Alarant smells an extra kill for him, uh, an extra point towards that showstopper. He's actually going to walk straight into the pistol. Oh, no. The sheriff can be so kind, but sometimes it is as unforgiving. While clearing all the angles methodically as, now leaves the remaining players of Heretics to try and see what they can do in this round. The closer range angles might be beneficial, and I'm surprised Aiden even risks that fight. Really rolling the dice there, down to the 2v2. Now, Breath, want to buy all the time that they can. Avez has been spotted out, but he's distracting, trying to pull these players' attention towards him while Hipper gets that insane flank. Now, it's just about running away. Nade will contain. He's crossed over to boxes, and Emilwa has basically no time. No ammo, in fact, because he's only got four bullets left. But Heretics mounting this gun back into the round. Patatex already grabbed himself fatty. Top fragger down, Molly in to back over and lamps. That's oh, such that's a good wonderful. Molly. It was precise, but Emil would picked off all three in the meantime. If he didn't, the Molly would have. And that's another on the board for Heretics, inching ever closer to double digits. Oh, I'm 100% here to see Monster get this done. There's the first for him, looking good. Info about to come his way. Long peak and damage in. Cage down, he's gonna tap that defuse, take it halfway at least, right up the borderline. That's where he's gonna wait for them. Spraying down the first and looking for more. He knew there was someone on his right, but so scared of the corner towards Long. Shock dart through, doesn't even land that much damage and he's gonna get spotted by that drone. I like the delay coming in from Heretics. A TP up behind has been caught. There's already a player on the side. Hibber has managed oh, no. to sneak on through. Now completely trapping the player inside of Lamps and catching Monster, trying to provide some support to Patatech, who's all alone, but still getting damage done. With Lao left, the one versus three, he is still on B. <laughs> I, guys, it's not B. There, guys, don't worry, it's not B. There is a world. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna get it. Oh, I'm there, lucky. There's a world where he that ends up looking silly, but it, it, it's okay. He gets to keep the rifle into the next round. He's one orb away from a res, and for the remaining players, there's not really that much value in hunting. For Breath, they're in a position where they're about to equalize the scoreline financially, not in the most amazing of spots after winning a thrifty round and managed to, to retrieve a couple of the weapons. Uh, a little tiger going out, it's already caught Pat down below. Nice shot by Monster. Just caught Hibber right in the head. Orbital. Uh -oh. oh, that was that was an ambitious orbital strike committed. Monster again on the back side. Turning up for kills. Oh, Panatex got the weapon. And this is absolutely huge. The rocket from downtown not going to land. But he's gone. Oh, he's gone. A clean tap by Alaran. Flank leaving well. Aiden alone. And there's no way he expects a player behind him. Even then on the side, he would be dead from Hookah and from backside. Double digits for Heretics. Just a disgusting round out of Monster on that backside. But yeah, th this this game has genuinely now turned into wh which team is going to make the biggest of plays. Because th that the risk that was taken in that round from Hybub was just unbelievable. Not only does he almost die while his opponent is... <laughs> he can't really do much right now, but how much longer is that wall realistically going to last? It looks like it was next. placed down. Yeah, it's not going to be there long. Oh, so yeah. the second that fades, he's now walking in behind them. Now the positioning of the defenders has been perfect thus far, but this can be the oh, one God. man to be the thorn in oh. their side. Oh no, the flash is even perfect, but it's all gone wrong. Oh, everything has just fallen apart. It was looking like another huge play coming out from Hyber instead. Uh, Mel, delete the bot. Delete the bot. <laughs> Hey, it's a three minute delay. If you turn off your internet now, no one will ever see that. It's okay. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Waiting on the angle. Watching that smoke as they look to push through it. The paranoia is good. It'll force him back off the angle, but they've got the nade to slow them down at least a little bit. Clearing that angle perfectly. The nade will find another kill. Now Hyper's going straight in. The shots missed a little bit by Paditek, but he recovers. He now becomes 
the main defender of this site holding down the line it's monster to close it and they will take it 12 to 10 one away this is winnable heretics still have a res but there's no one that they can safely res they have to fight for the site control monster picks up the first not able for more and now it's all down to dawn a 1v2 with the res in play and this could be it breath have put up one hell of a fight they've been here ot's and close games but this could be the end at 13 to 10 dawn needs headshots and unfortunately oh. the only one to be found is from lel 13 10 incredible game from heretics though i have to say tom i'm impressed by breath this is a team that we're definitely going to be keeping yeah. an eye on moving forward and hey they're looking for an organization